Hi, my name is Shelby Fletcher and I'm from Highland Village, Texas. I plan on attending a four-year university in the fall and continuing to study dance with an emphasis on choreography and performance. Hello, my name is Emma Strange and I am from Flower Mound, Texas. I plan on attending Texas Christian University with a major in kinesiology and a minor in nutrition. Hi, my name is Sage Hanley and I'm from Dripping Springs, Texas. In the fall, I will be attending Texas A&M University where I will be studying allied health. Hi, my name is Kayla Parker and I'm from Pearland, Texas. In the fall, I plan on attending Sam Houston State University to major in dance. Hi, my name is Lucy Padilla and I'm from Katy, Texas. I will be attending a four-year university in the fall where I'll be studying education. Hi, my name is Carolyn Rose and I'm from Longview, Texas. Next year, I plan on going to Sam Houston State University where I plan to major in dance and minor in nutrition. Hi, my name is Kelly Norris. I'm from Longview, Texas. And after I leave Kilgore College, I plan on attending a university where I will continue to expand on my knowledge and love of dance. The fifth generation of industry had a wonderful year. We first started out with an improv master class for Tina Vogel's The Dance Studio, where we were able to teach all of her students about the magic of improvisation. Our next and our one of my most favorite performances is the Coast to Coast Productions Perform with the Rangerettes event. This is where industry and all of the other former generations are able to come together and perform an improv performance for all of the high schoolers that come to visit Kilgore College campus. In October, we also saw Body Traffic, which is a LA-based dance company, and it was an amazing performance. We drove uh, to Dallas to see the performance, and it was great uh, just taking a road trip and bonding and learning and seeing all of the um, professionalism that that company encompasses. We also performed Downtown Kilgore for the Lighting Derrick, which is an annual event in November to kick off the Christmas season. This is where we provide another improvisational performance for local people of Kilgore, and it's a great way for us to uh, just begin the Christmas season. We also performed in the Christmas Spectacular that the Rangerettes put on. This is a performance that we look forward to each and every year. It is something that we work towards from September all the way through to uh, December, and it's a way for us to show our performance that we actually have set choreography for, um, for the masses. So it's great to have a bigger audience in Dodson Auditorium, and we love performing for the Rangerette Christmas Show. Another one of my favorite performances is the Texas Dance Educators Association. This is the captain's convention for all of the captains across the state of Texas. It is where industry is able to perform uh, alongside many other collegiate programs and dance teams and dance departments. And we love seeing our former uh, people of Kilgore College Dance Department and other programs, but it's a way for us to showcase our talents and for us to also get our name out there and recruit for people that are hopefully interested in coming to Kilgore College for dance. We also have the great opportunity to perform at Gussie Nell Davis Classic, which is a local competition at Kilgore College. Uh, we love performing and again, just uh, showcasing our talents and providing any kind of uh, recruitment that we can do and we also love performing in the master's gym. In a normal year we would go to American College Dance Festival which is a festival for all college programs across the state. Unfortunately it was canceled this year because of COVID-19 but it was after the fact that we had our an alternative ACDA which was uh, just too far away for us to go. It was in El Paso last year and so we uh, decided to go to Denton and get a piece set on us by Erica Record. She is a former colleague of mine. She was also in my graduate uh, department at Texas Women's University and I adore her choreography. So I thought it would be great for the industry this year to learn from an outside choreographer and also to uh, just get an outside perspective on what the dance community looks out looks like out in Denton. Uh, we were able to stay in an Airbnb, which was so much fun uh, for bonding, but we uh, enjoyed having our experience with Erica Record and learning from her for about 10 hours in two days. So it was a great experience and we loved having her. Although this year wasn't what we thought it would be, especially since I was on maternity leave for a good majority of the fall semester and with COVID-19 this semester, I do think that this group of young ladies were able to learn and experience and enjoy every single moment 
Um, having our year cut off short was obviously not in the cards for any of us and we didn't want it to end that way. But I do think that ending the year with our alternative ACDA experience was truly the icing on the cake of a wonderful year. I have enjoyed having um, 5G as we started to call it, the fifth generation of industry. I loved having them. Um, I enjoyed their work ethic and passion for dance and I'm going to miss them tremendously next year. We would be um, introducing the next generation of industry dance company, but we didn't want to introduce them or over a Zoom meeting. Uh, so we will be waiting till we can come together, hopefully later this summer, and we will do a live announcement on our Instagram for that. And we will be in introducing the sixth generation of industry at a later date. So we will uh, be looking forward to that hopefully in the coming months. And I'm excited to see what next year holds. Hi, I just wanted to take a second and talk about all of the events that we've gotten to do as a dance club this year. So starting in the fall semester, the very first day that we go to class, we got to have Dr. Daly come in and he's from Arosti and he taught us about foam rolling and just a lot about injury prevention. So that was helpful for us throughout the whole semester. And then the next thing that we got to do was have a step up movie night, which was fun and just a good way to meet people. And we all got to watch a dance movie together, which is what we all love. So that was really cool. Um, after that, Summer Tanner came in and she taught a hip hop master class, which was one of the most fun things I think we did throughout the year. The next thing we got to do together was go to Diablo. Um, Diablo is a LA based performance company and they were incredible. I wish every day that we could go back and watch that whole show again. It was so fun getting to go with all my friends that love to dance and then just being in awe and inspired by all of those dancers doing what we all love to do. After that, we had a Christmas party where we got to play a lot of fun games. Again, we just got to interact with people that we may not be in classes with and just have fun and just let the stress of the week go. And it was just a great time to meet everybody and celebrate the holidays. And then the last thing we did in first semester as dance club was actually the downtown Kilgore parade. We set up a booth with Kilgore College Dance and we had little kids come and they would write letters to Santa, which was so fun and so sweet to be a part of. And then second semester started and Madeline Dorr came in and she used to be a rangerette and she's now living in New York. And she talked to us about the audition process and what it's like to like start your training as a professional dancer. And she also taught us a little combo from Rockettes. So that was super fun to learn from her and just kind of see where her experience took her and how dance department and um, dance club kind of helped her and changed her life too. And then after that, we had Dance Jam, which was one of the most fun events we have had, I think, like agreed all across the board. Dance Jam was a time where we got together, like everybody in all of dance department could come or dance club. And we just got to improv together and Mrs. Alds would walk us through some exercises and we got to dance with new people and do new kinds of dancing. And it just felt so good to just dance however we wanted and just move together and be there in that moment. I feel like honestly, that was the last event that we got to do together as dance club. And we didn't know it at the time, but like it was so fitting and so needed for that time in life. And I feel like it's helpful for us to like have that memory now. So after Dance Jam is obviously when we got sent home for the rest of the semester, but that does not stop Kilgore College Dance Club from continuing on. Um, each week, Mrs. Alts has offered webinars on Zoom for us to continue just learning about dance and being together and seeing our people. Um, another thing we've gotten to do over quarantine is actually some live Zoom classes. So that's also through Dance Club where we're getting to just take classes from each other and learn combos and just keep dancing and spreading that joy. I feel like Dance Club, even though our year got cut short, there were so many opportunities that we got to take and we've honestly kind of learned from being at home that it doesn't really matter where Dance Club is, like your people and the things that you love are gonna bring you together no matter what. And I really hope that this um, dance concert should kind of have been our last um, dance club or dance department event, but I am hopeful that there will be a reunion soon and that we'll get one more event and they're all together and we will smile bigger than ever and dance bigger than ever and it will be the best day of our lives. Thank you.
If you have made it this far, congratulations. We are incredibly, incredibly sad that we were not able to do this performance live for you all um, in Van Cliburn, which is our small auditorium on Kilgore College campus. But the Kilgore College Dance Department is resilient, creative, and ambitious for wanting to continue to put on this concert virtually for um, you all in your homes. Like many other fine art and entertainment programs across the world, our show truly ended before we could even begin. We would have started the week after spring break, um, which is when we typically start it. Um, it's kind of in the midst of revel season, but also um, there's no need to start it anywhere near um, spring break. So we normally start it after spring break, and then we kind of just go full out pretty much the rest of the year. And although I cannot tell you how proud I am of these um, young ladies and gentlemen, I am always impressed with their work ethic, their talent, and their passion for dance. I have truly missed everyone, and I wish that our season would have ended a lot differently. I will continue to beam with pride, and I will always be your teacher, and I know Mrs. Wayne feels the same. We are both incredibly proud of what this dance department stands for, and each year, I named the dance concert after a theme that I have in mind. And this year, um, the name Axiom came about one for the X in the sixth year. So the X in Axiom, the X in six, so I can remember which year it was. And also my son's name, Brixton, also has an X. Uh, but the name Axiom actually means a statement that is regarded as being established, accepted, and self-evidently true. So I knew that was um, going to come to fruition whenever we had our dance concert because I believe that the dance department is very established now in its sixth year. I don't think that there is anything that can break fine arts in this craziness. Um, we continue to uh, build up our dance department and recruiting even online and through our Instagram and Facebook presence, uh, but I know that your love for dance will radiate even bigger knowing that this season is starting to close. You are loved and you are missed so deeply and I know Mrs. Wayne feels the same. And now everyone home at watching, I hope you can give your daughter or granddaughter or friend, family a round of applause for their performance in this year's virtual dance concert. I know that I wish I was giving an applause to the freshman and sophomore uh, members of the dance department right now. And I wish if anything that you would be able to give your bow. I love you all and I'll miss you. <laughs>